Wow! What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pelin here, your YouTube World Harrison Champion, here on YouTube. And here's my WWE SmackDown review from last night's WWE SmackDown edition of February 14, 2017. That's right, we're going to get things started. We kicked off WWE SmackDown Live with the new WWE Champion, Bray Wyatt, and he gets on the mic, and he starts cutting a promo about that Sister Abigail will speak the truth. And on this day, that he has the whole damn world in his hands. And he's also too much, you know, too much power, and it is to be too dangerous for the fans, so... So then he welcomes the fans into the new era of the Wyatt. So now it's a new era of the Wyatt. So then John Cena comes out and talks to Bray Wyatt about about a uh, no man you know, no man deserves anything around here. <laughs> here they have to earn it and that's why his thing is to Earn respect. So Cena says he has to earn respect to earn it. So then AJ Styles comes out blabbering his mouth and talks to Cena that if he's getting his rematch, that he wants to get a rematch too. And AJ says that he that he, he can beat Bray Wyatt too. So then Dale Bryan comes out and he makes it be a triple threat match for the main event. So we're going to get a triple threat match for later on tonight. Which we're going to get onto that later on in the, in the show. So then... The first match on SmackDown Live was America Alpha versus the Ascensions. And the winner was the America Alpha. After the match, the Usos appeared on the Titan Tron and issued a challenge to the America Alpha. Which, I don't know, could we be seeing a tag team championship match at WrestleMania? You never know. We'll have to find out in the next couple of weeks or so. The second match we were supposed to have was uh, Dean Ambrose versus James Eller because apparently Dean Ambrose wanted to get his anger out on Baron Corbin that took place at Elimination Chamber on Sunday, but um, so he wanted to get his anger out on Corbin, but that match did not take place against James Eller because because Corbin attacked Dean Ambrose and actually just dragged him out there like a ragdoll, just dragged him out Ambrose and just took him out from backstage. You know, from the top of him and just threw him over the electrical wiring and just uh, ugly to see, man. But Corbin, man, I think he's going to become the next Intercontinental Champion. Put your money on Corbin to become the next Intercontinental Champion at WrestleMania. That's what I want to see, man. Corbin deserves it. But that match against James Elder does not happen at all. So then the third match we had on Raw was an elimination. Uh, ah, botched it. Uh, the third match we had on SmackDown was an Elimination Chamber rematch. Becky Lynch versus Mickey James. And the winner was Mickey James. I knew she was going to win from the very beginning. Man. I just knew it's so another both tied up. 1 1. 1 1. Okay. So then we had an interim promo on SmackDown with, the, with Feel the Glow with the new SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi. And she talks about that she had. A, Injury after winning the title, you know, on her um, knee or something, she had an injury. And Alexa Bliss comes out and starts talking to Naomi about that she won't feel the the glow, and that she will feel the flop. Well, that was kind of funny because on the Boston Celtics, Marcus Smart always flops. So I'm just gonna get it. Okay, right now this is wrestling, so we're gonna stick to it. So then, so then she will give Naomi one week, one week to defend her title against against uh, her Alexa Bliss. If she doesn't, then she says that I'll just snatch that title right from you. So we're gonna see in one week if she can be able to defend her title in one week on SmackDown Live. So now the main event we had on SmackDown Live was. A WWE Championship match. Bray Wyatt versus AJ Styles versus John Cena. And boy, was this match freaking awesome. This match was off the chains, man. This match, like, 
before the match even began, Bray Wyatt comes out to the ring, and Luke Harper just attacks him, and, man, those guys deliver one heck of a fight. Before, I thought Cena was going to win twice in a row. Cena does two AAs, and AJ Styles gets pinned, then went back and forth. You never knew who thought it was going to win, but, of course, the, the winner was, and still, your WWE champion, Bray Wyatt. But then after the match, Randy Orton comes out and says that he does not want to face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania in the privilege or something like that. He just says that he has, uh, that he um just says to Bray Wyatt that he won the Rumble and that he does not have the, that the privilege to face him and that I pledge not to fight you. So then Bray Wyatt, so then he says, so then Bray Wyatt tells him this, that you have the key to the kingdom. So I don't know how they're going to go from here, man. Like, it's kind of a loophole, man, if you ask me. So we're going to find out what's going to happen next Tuesday night on SmackDown. So um, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comment down below. And subscribe for more. Tap the bell down below if you want to get updates on my videos. And... You're all the best to John Squad, and I love each and every one of you all, and I hope your Valentine was good yesterday, mine was good as well, and that's about it, and, um, yeah, and, um, gotta find out what's gonna happen next Tuesday on SmackDown, so the John Squad, you're all the best, you're one of a kind, I love each and every one of you all, and that's about it, and then leave your comments down below. What did you think of this episode edition of SmackDown? I thought it was really good, man. I thought it was tremendous, man. The way they started, the way they ended it, I thought it was great. Leave your comments down below. Peace out, the John Squad.